Let's start our session. The first presentation will be done by Dr. Marino Kershevich. Uh, the title of the social fiber parameter optimization for ensemble based method for infinitive university. 15 minutes. So, everyone, let me introduce my uh, presentation about the parameter optimization for ensemble based method for infinitive university. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I want to say that we have our scientific group have uh, quite a big project about uh, expert analysis, and we use a part of our research. Uh, we, did, we did experiments about image quality assessments, about uh, uh, image classification. We, uh, Perform some experiments with neural networks, and uh, this talk is about uh, classic approach and simple algorithm and parameter optimization for uh, for our models. Uh, first of all, the diabetes is a uh, wide range uh, disease, and it uh, causes even uh, blood blindness. That is why it is very important to. Uh, screen and to display the, the, the screen party based on uh, such kind of image. Yes. And uh, the goal of our realization is to develop, to develop uh, algorithm, algorithmic instruments and software tools for screening and automatic classification of the data group in five stages and performing the parameter models, uh, parameter uh, selection for our. In our research, we um, we used uh, data set from a couple of platforms. It's uh, the most uh, difficult uh, data set. It includes about uh, it includes uh, three thousand uh, six hundred sixty-two images uh, uh, with uh, different styles, with different and uh, sometimes we see that. Uh, we will interface uh, some states in an implementation. Uh, you switch to me. Okay. Uh, we uh, divided uh, this data set into two subsets. Uh, the first uh, subset we used for uh, train, model training, and uh, the second subset we used for uh, model based testing. Uh, the big part of uh, our uh, activities uh, uh, connected to this uh, preprocessing stage, uh, it is possible to use for RGB images it is for, for, for analysis. Uh, some research uh, 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 some researchers uh, show, show that it is possible to work on this three uh, channel. In our research, we use uh, RGB images, and the first stage was uh, background to remove before we uh, if you look for uh, all data sets, the big part of our images uh, includes uh, the ground. That's why at the first stage uh, is the ground removed. After that, the next stage uh, is image size, and we uh, choose uh, optimal uh, as we, um, based on our experiments, we choose the best variable of size. It's a uh, resize, uh, it's uh, size for size and is useful not only for this uh, research purpose, but we use this size for neural network. And the third, uh, after the um, preprocessing stage, we uh, performed uh, feature extraction uh, for classical algorithm. We uh, every image is presented by a vector of features, performance of features, and in our research we uh, calculate uh, the set of uh, features, including textual features, Instagram features, or human part of features, textual features, to uh, threshold uh, edges, statistics, and homework. And uh, the director of features includes uh, more than 600 uh, features. 
After that, we perform a standardization for our future paper. Uh, if we speak about uh, tech stack, uh, I told you that we uh, developed not only algorithmic uh, approach, we developed uh, software tools. We used, uh, we used uh, Python as a language and uh, as a library for model building based on ensembles of algorithm and uh, we used uh, additional library for calculation uh, uh, better features. We have focus library, specific library for global building platform. Okay, <laughs> based on our previous research, we follow for, um, in the framework of this approach, we, um, we selected uh, several algorithms, several methods for uh, model building. Bending classifier, random forest classifier, extra triple classifiers, other good classifiers, and random building classifier. Uh, one year ago, I had a speech at the similar conference and I uh, presented some results where I compared classical algorithms and the, the main result was that uh, these ensemble algorithms as the best for this type of images. That is why during this year I uh, uh, continued working on this topic and uh, right now I want to present the results about uh, keyword parameter optimization for these uh, methods. Uh, some of them um, in framework of some of the methods we can use uh, as space estimate not only decision tree, I examined them to this uh, point and uh, after some experiments I uh, I see I see the best choice is decision tree fire as a basic tree. If we speak about the Scalon library, uh, there are a set uh, there, there is a set of uh, parameters that we can uh, predefine before model development. Uh, but, uh, and I exempt all of them, but I choose two different parameters for optimization. The first parameter is the number of trees in the forest, and the second parameter is the maximum depth of the tree. If we speak about the uh, Escalon library, in Escalon, uh, the fault number of uh, estimate, uh, estimates uh, is 100. In previous version, it was Estimated in the current version is 100, 100 estimation. Uh, if you speak about maximum depth of the tree, uh, there is no uh, number, no number in the Ethereum library for max depth. Uh, I uh, exempt uh, 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 number of estimated parameters for all flight models and max depth for the first uh, and uh, extra uh, models. Um, I use uh, this parameter. If we speak about uh, the parameters uh, session, there are three approaches. Uh, two of them are the most popular uh, random forest and rich forest. For, uh, random forest uh, and rich forest with uh, session is um, mm -hmm. implemented in a salon library. By some stage, I found a uh, suitable package, but I didn't uh, did them. This uh, approach in the framework of this uh, experiment is a huge point. If you um, try to compare random search and grid search, grid search approach is more accurate but it's very slow. And uh, especially for ensemble algorithm, it is very difficult to predict the right interval, the uh, right range for these keyword parameters. Yes? A general approach try to choose the maximum number of matrix, for example, if we speak about the number of uh, trees, uh, if we speak about mass depth, it's uh, the most difficult thing is to predict uh, in the number. But this bit search is more accurate. If you speak about random search, random search uh, is faster than which search approach, but in random search, um, Random search is not so accurate right, uh, like grid search. Uh, at the first stage, we uh, constructed, we developed a model, 
more fight models. These are the hydrocarbonization. We use uh, cathode uh, crossfluidation. Yes, we use the term of voltage. And uh, you can see some uh, results. You can see the uh, story. Uh, when I say about story, it means it was for training set and uh, for uh, testing set. The best uh, testing uh, for a testing set we see for a breathing different approach. And uh, on this slide, we can see this situation rather than the uh, confusion market. Yeah. Uh, 74%. It's the default model, and uh, after that, uh, we, after we the default model, with the default hydroparameters, we try to improve our models, uh, improve, uh, try, try to refresh uh, the best hydroparameters. Uh, the first, uh, the second uh, experiment uh, we conducted with a random search, and uh, you see that uh, uh, for testing for testing data set we see even decreasing uh, test score or test accuracy when we perform the random search. Yeah, is that why this approach, uh, uh, the existing approach, is not suitable for uh, our uh, experiment. Uh, that is why we uh, have developed quite a simple technique. We, at the first stage, we use random search of the parameters. In this uh, the random search is the parameter in the specific search. In uh, this case, is quite hard, but not very really accurate. And uh, after the random search, we um, use a uh, grid search for, based on the result of random search. Yes? We use, um, uh, at, the, uh, at the first stage of uh, the search, we use uh, quite big uh, step for, uh, for finding the best parameters. After that, we reduce this step and uh, perform the search at the, set, at the search at the time. And in, in we see that uh, the best the parameter value is chosen as the boundary, we uh, repeat the search. Uh, we did this um, this step uh, for uh, every different parameters individually, separately, and after that we uh, choose uh, the best uh, intervals for every different parameter. In, and in case when we examine two different parameters for our model, we uh, we perform uh, research two for uh, both different parameters. Uh, and uh, now I want to show you some visualizations, some results of uh, grid uh, search after random search. This is the, uh, on this slide you can see uh, the parameter optimization for, uh, for one of the algorithms. Uh, we will try to optimize the number of estimators. And you can see the best score and the number of uh, estimators for this score. And this slide shows we see um, uh, some results for the next model, it's a random forest model, and uh, you can see visualization for uh, number of estimators and for max steps for, for decision to tree um, and the score. Uh, this is the result for random forest when we examine uh, both um, uh, both hyperparameters. At the same time, because sometimes we can see the decrease if we use um, uh, at the same time two hyperparameters. And uh, this is for the result for uh, extra trip uh, for supply. This uh, we examined. Uh, Number of estimators and mark apps, and two uh, uh, different parameters optimization at the same time. And uh, this is the result for the boost for the number of estimators and the gain boosting for number of estimators. And uh, on this table, uh, I combine um, and I want to show you the result for uh, all the uh, Experience and we see that for the time we see the increase of the score accuracy, yes, uh, for a long course. 
And uh, this approach, when we try to combine Ramblotin and Sketch with grid search, and uh, grid search use the uh, uh, preliminary results of random search, we see the increase in uh, the uh, accuracy with the fault mode. Not with it, only with random search, but with the fault mode. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yes. I think I will finish. Yes, uh, and uh, on this slide you can see the confusion market and classification record for best model uh, when we apply uh, this technique. Uh, you see an increase for random forest. And I told you that we built not only classify for five classes when we uh, try to, uh, to detect retinopathy uh, and to classify the stage. The most important uh, task is uh, screening uh, binary classification. That is why we, uh, we developed uh, models and we um, did all, the, all these process for binary classification. And for a we, uh, we we received quite a good uh, score, quite a good accuracy if we speak about retinopathy uh, detection. And uh, in conclusion, uh, I, in studies, we proposed a uh, quite simple computer parameter selection technique for ensemble algorithm, mm -hmm. algorithms based on combination of grid search and random search. And uh, uh, yes, I have shown you the results for retina images, but uh, I believe that this technique we can use for other type of images. That's all for us. Okay, very short question. No? Okay, thank you for your presentation. <laughs> Random Forest is the best. <laughs> Next presentation. Uh, oh. Huh? Italian yeah. Kimbiski generated uh, graphs with uh, specified properties and they use for extraction thin graph from image. Okay. Right now, bigger than 50 minutes, okay? Uh, 
uh, problems, but we want to create different uh, different transactions. That's why we generate uh, graph analysis and we graph structural problems. For example, uh, the number of uh, labor analysis or uh, the number of cycle of one strip by the soul of the universe. Uh, in this work, we will present uh, three models uh, to three hours to generate graphs. Uh, and the aim uh, of our work is to perform a comparison analysis and to implement efficient methods for generating graphs structures for human problems. Okay. Uh, uh, now, uh, now I will uh, briefly review the graph uh, generation uh, methods we proposed. And uh, the first one was uh, graph generation method via uh, linear layers. We choose it as a baseline. And uh, here you can see the architecture of this uh, model. Uh, uh, it is easy to understand that this model uh, doesn't take into account uh, graph structural uh, processes. Uh, for example, uh, if uh, consider is one graph, graphs, we the uh, different graphs, but we want to um, consider this graph as the same one. Uh, so the issue, um, we propose to use uh, the proposed using graph analysis. And now we propose for graph analysis. Here is the result of uh, our linear models. Uh, uh, okay, it was about uh, graph analysis. Uh, let a graph be represented as an uh, adjacent matrix A and a future matrix X. Uh, we want to work with graphs as um, we want to work with graphs using uh, existing machine uh, learning methods. Uh, so we try to import graphs in the standard space. Uh, okay. uh, so we generate uh, Matrix, uh, fusion matrix X uh, with size M uh, dot M, where M is the dimension of M base of this uh, graph search. Okay. Um, uh, usually, to create uh, uh, different samples, we use a linear model as X dot W, uh, but we well, uh, to uh, get information only from uh, neighboring values. Uh, uh, so we define uh, implements like a remove of a hat dot x dot uh, w, where a hat is a evolved matrix. And a hat is equal to a minus. Uh, okay. Uh, now, in the ESL of, of uh, matrix E, we have uh, we have uh, uh, the we have information about uh, its uh, node of the graph and its method. Okay. Uh, next, uh, the next model we network graph uh, after coder. Here is uh, architecture. Uh, so. Uh, we uh, we encode our graph with encoder to uh, some um, data space. Then we put our uh, output of the encoder to the input of the encoder, and encoder tries to uh, generate vector uh, of probabilities here, and then we. Uh, that is on transforms uh, dot e to generate uh, our provincial matrix. Then we have uh, 
phrase plan that's all and using it we can obtain adjacent set values uh, from this probability uh, and uh, using code by the cost integrated loss we can uh, compare our uh, our uh, adjacent values and the real one okay um, and this slide shows the result of uh, relating Hamilton graphs on the left side of Hamilton graphs using our graph of the polyboard. Uh, the next model is uh, a generation cell neural network based on graph solutions. Uh, the third method, uh, um, uh, the third method uh, is represented by uh, two models. Uh, um, after the call and uh, graph done. Okay. Uh, the after encoder uh, is used to pick out the latest representation of matrix X in the uh, in the some matrix L, uh, and uh, then uh, we can use uh, graph uh, graph generator to generate uh, some uh, graph adjacency maps uh, from uh, the noise. Uh, then we fed our uh, adjacency maps to the decoder uh, and uh, the encoder and again fish uh, uh, fish uh, okay. And uh, then we fed our adjacency maps and uh, and uh, fish maps to the spot and get the probability is this uh, trace graph despite our uh, our uh, final process uh, here is uh, the architecture of our generate uh, model um, and uh, here you can see the example of which is us. It's Hamilton Glass. Okay. Uh, then uh, then uh, I'll then you was about a similar construction with uh, uh graph Okay, we know that we can we can match uh, graph uh, same graph for each image. For example, uh, this uh, image matched this uh, same graph. Okay, uh, and now we want to generate the graph. Uh, uh, we uh, we this model. Uh, okay, um, and we can system for two parts. Uh, uh, CMS and uh, uh, graph neuron. Uh, first of all, we have an image and we plant it in the CNN. CNN uh, uh, compressed in the sum matrix X, which is uh, plant to uh, uh, graph uh, generation, uh, generator, and we obtain uh, matrix, uh, adjacent matrix A and uh, three dimensional uh, uh, feature matrix S okay. uh, with size M to M to A. Uh, okay. Um, uh, and uh, 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 each row of uh, this feature uh, vector represents uh, each object on the image, and uh, each uh, i g vector of the uh, adjacent maps represents uh, the um, how this 
I and J of this interact. Okay. Um, so, uh, describe a model can be used in image detection test uh, or in uh, roads, uh, or for example, in a main network task. Okay, that's all. That's all? Yeah. Okay, any questions? How you match uh, graph settings on the edges to all buckets? Uh, uh, we we can use some uh, some uh, uh, no, last is specific unit as we must называется ассимиляция. We want to we want to ассимиляция объект. Ну, потом Будем надеяться, что наша сосредоточенная нейронная сеть улучшит, как представлять отношения между этими объектами. Ну, можем изготовить, например, как вот векторы эмбэдинга и диаслов. Вот эти эмбэдинги мы перемещаем в нашу ответственность. Ну, точнее, еще надо дальше. Ну да, она сейчас решает. Окей. Next presentation by Sawan. Yes. Pascal. Yes. An introduction, small and improvement small object detection method in the remote sensing images by Swan. I bought a whole book. Yola. This is very new for me. One of my online, online lab have been for twenty years to one kid our presentation here. My thought is I improve the small user detection method in remote sensors image based on your variation. Okay, uh, in my presentation we include this four parts. First, we search the one that has the other method. Further, insert and reload and the, the last conclusion. Okay, first I will I will introduce the, the research background. As a technology that has been developed for more than 10 years, object detection in very much at the technical level. We have a lot of we have a lot of algorithms such as uh, as RCN, Retina, Net, and Yolo. And uh, um, why do we need this algorithm? Because this algorithm uh, in such Build on the draw a very important um of the play a very important set of and uh also by the small picture. Really we have two ways to define a small object. So the first is based on relative scale and the second is based on on the size of the scale such um, and we can see there are many many uh, standards but really uh, most people use uh, this set of so called, which said uh, small object, uh, small object is, uh, is an object uh, with a resolution less than 32 pixel times 32. And uh, in the rest of this picture, we can see, we can see uh, these two examples. The first 
PhD with uh, some normal objects uh, and uh, the second uh, image that's uh, included uh, as um, small objects. And uh, here, uh, and in this picture, I want to show, show some history of, of um, the development of with with uh, detection method, with detection algorithm. Uh, before 2020, the scientists uh, scientists uh, had scientists uh, had been using using uh, the old way to to do testing, but uh, uh, mm -hmm. no FSNet. Uh, FSNet is the first uh, neural network, uh, and uh, since then. We have a lot of algorithm and uh, we have two branches. In the first branch is called the one stage algorithm. And uh, the second uh, branch is called the two stage algorithm. In world, uh, um, in the world, uh, one, stage, one stage algorithm is faster than a second stage algorithm, but the uh, second stage algorithm is uh, but uh, second uh, second of uh, uh, but the two stage algorithm is faster, um, no, sorry, um, it has more accuracy than one stage algorithm. And, uh, mm, and we can see um, two years ago, maybe um, um, two years ago, we have on a new algorithm which is called a string transformer. So, uh, string transformer is also a very interesting algorithm. And, uh, here we can see the difference between traditional method and the neural network method. Uh, if, we, if we use traditional method, we have a lot of steps from inputs uh, to outputs. Uh, but if we use neural network method, uh, we just have three steps, inputs uh, and, uh, and uh, neural network model and outputs. It's very easy to use. And here, here are some uh, some of there are some optimization for small image detection algorithm. We can see there are so many ways to optimize the algorithm. And then in my paper, I use uh, I use attention based uh, method. Uh, and uh, in this page, uh, in that of this page is the user wire is uh, structure. And, uh, in the, uh, and in the rest of this piece uh, is, is, my, is my optimization method. Mm. Um, um, uh, yeah. it's, it's not a difficult method. Here mm. yeah, is backbone and here is sensor. And the other is, is um, the detail. And I change the um, here, here structure, and I, I and I use SQL function that uh, um, to add vision this layer. And I want to, to introduce our method. Um, we we already have we already have very uh, very much matched uh, models such as Euro and uh, fast RCM. So I want to use the largest uh, Euro to, to do optimize. And uh, the Euro version is created uh, um, in this year, in, in general, so it's very new. And uh, I do these two improvements. The first is I, I did a distribution head for structure. And uh, second, uh, I added uh, the SE attention module. The SE attention module is is a method based on based on attention. And uh, in, of course, uh, here's uh, the SE attention module. SE attention module include uh, this uh, three steps. First, uh, compression square. Squeeze and the second stimulates uh, citation uh, and the third uh, restore scale. So, um, in mathematical, it's a little bit uh, difficult, but, uh, but 
but uh, in between, um, when we input uh, uh, the data, uh, the images, and uh, and uh, uh, do this uh, three steps, and uh, we can we can improve the useful features and uh, surprise the useless feature. And here is the second uh, improvement uh, point, a uh, uh, new detection header. For the original user uh, we only have three detection headers, but uh, it's not enough to, to uh, do some detection with, with uh, small filter. So I add a, a new detection header, which uh, which the detection filter uh, which map size is 116 times 116. So that I can I can uh, the object uh, which are all four times four pixels. And it has a lot of um, improvement. And let's talk about uh, the, the experiments. In our experiments, we use uh, those are very to um, in the example of this setup, which is a large scale setup for object execution in aerial images. And we can see uh, here are some examples here. And uh, um, from, from the, the first image, uh, you can see uh, there, are, there are many, many, many objects uh, in this, this setup. Uh, it includes flying as helicopter ships, um, small vehicle, large vehicle, and so on. But here, here, here is like a dot that's from the, the image uh, uh, from left uh, to right. Uh, the first uh, image is the, uh, the original image, and uh, the second, uh, second image is uh, the results uh, which use the which is the, uh, the original user feature, which is this, and the, the third image is, is um, the result of which is our method. And we can see from this matrix or from this, uh, it, is, it is a little bit uh, hard for you, but uh, yes, it improves, uh, improves a little. And uh, here are more details. Uh, in our experiment, uh, in experiment, I call this user variable for header or for the particular header class, class SE. And we can see um, at the beginning, maybe um, maybe it's um, same for for the um, for them, but uh, but after 500 efforts, uh, we can see um, we have better we have better performance. Uh, this article shows a method which has uh, I see a section module and a uh, uh, more detection header, more small detection in your variation. And, uh, and yes, it's improved uh, the, um, the performance for your variation. It's improved uh, uh, 1.5 percentage more than. And uh, ultimately, uh, due to the limited research time, I won't have a chance to uh, to try the uh, practice them all. And uh, uh, the the mm -hmm. thing is, uh, in my method, uh, in my method, I make this uh, this algorithm more complex uh, to to get uh, uh, to get more accuracy. But it's not a good way to. To, uh, to optimize the algorithm, to optimize the algorithm. So in future, I I plan uh, to work on the method for more lightweight uh, or general in more object detection. And here are some references. Yes, yes. Okay. Any questions, please? Yes. Uh, I have several uh, modifications to mobile detection. Uh, did you compare your effectiveness uh, such um, 
Um, no, I just compare with uh, the only know you play here. Yeah. Right? Okay, so, uh, I would like to uh, thank you for your interesting presentation and I uh, would like to ask you, uh, you uh, told that you use uh, different uh, database and uh, uh, the algorithm that you presented is uh, a little bit complex. So does uh, the complexity of your algorithm uh, depends on the database you use because you thought that uh, each database contains uh, images with different uh, resolutions. Yes. Um, um, the result of uh, the result uh, of detection, uh, yes, is is a little. Um, yes, it has. Um, yes, is um, but you use use different statistics uh, in one same model, and we can get. Uh, the different uh, results, uh, but uh, but if we use uh, one, but we use one to set, uh, to, count, or to compare the original algorithm and the main al and the main algorithm, and it shows it have improvements. Uh, so uh, in user variety, it has improvements, uh, but I didn't try based on the other uh, algorithm. Okay, thank you for your presentation. <laughs> Next presentation will be done by Arthur Nielis, construction for semi automatic problem of area of office on automatic image. I'm uh, one last gentleman. I'm glad to see you there. I'm sorry, but you said my very question. I'm sorry, it's a question of my presentation, so uh, it will be uh, very uh, little uh, uh, text on it, and it's not very beautiful. But I have present my article on this. Okay, uh, uh, I'm glad to see you all. It's on for me to participate in this conference. Uh, as a student, uh, so I want to introduce my article named Construction of a semi automatic prompter of uh, aerial objects on map spectral satellite images. Uh, to talk about map spectral images, uh, it's very uh, important part uh, of uh, uh, digital vision and uh, image analysis because uh, map spectral images contain multi dimensional uh, data. Uh, that contains uh, information about uh, the spectrum uh, characteristics of every pixel. And when we talk about uh, multi spectral uh, and spectral images of satellites uh, or of satellite images, uh, they allow us to study different uh, characteristics of objects on Earth uh, that uh, we can't uh, uh, study on uh, one channel images. Uh, the most, uh, the most uh, popular uh, task in observation is object detection, and uh, in uh, mass spectral images, object detection uh, is uh, 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 limited to channels and their arithmetic combinations, but also all algorithms are uh, guided by counter. So in this article. We will consider the task of sensing objects with a constant. Thanks, please. Um, um, yes. Uh, um, when we talk about, uh, to build counter, we uh, counter often builds on the gradient of the images, uh, like uh, several deformation uh, and else. But uh, on mass spectral images, there are a, a problem that. Uh, uh, so it's a very problem with the dimension of these uh, images because the dimension we can't uh, build uh, scouts. So uh, we uh, the, the solution of this problem is lowering the dimension of the image, but uh, it's following some problems that we uh, need to find a subspace of the dimension in a optimal projection uh, with. Um, Biggest uh, correction, 
So we need to find most uh, informative and most significant language. Uh, so uh, the solution for this problem is the uh, same very popular method. Uh, but before we apply the same, we need to transform our uh, images uh, to uh, channels like uh, on this picture. So uh, we have a multi picture, but we transform uh, it to different bands and we uh, we work with both places best uh, like on this picture. Uh, and before we apply the say two, we need to uh, uh, bring the data to a simple format uh, such as the position. Uh, it's uh, necessary in uh, the way uh, the people's picture will uh, be in a different format, format but uh, if the, even if the features in one format, uh, it will be going to take the better results. Uh, so, uh, visualization is carried uh, out by the uh, center of the variables by subtracting the average value and then uh, to move on the axis of uh, the data. Uh, and uh, next, please. Uh, or, uh, okay. So, uh, when we have uh, two dimensional vector, we need to load it to one dimensional vector. Uh, so, uh, we build the matrix uh, with the uh, size of the uh, dimension of our image and multiply on account uh, of our channels. Uh, and then we will uh, contain the two dimensional vectors and uh, lowering the third dimensions. Uh, then we, uh, we uh, use our PSA and at this stage the data is compressed and the dimension is reduced. If we look at the uh, if we look at the edge values, we can see the values are completely different. Uh, the picture is uh, this picture is the uh, first one is uh, ratios uh, on in the initial spectral range. And uh, the ancient values is the structure that uh, on the diagonal we can see. And all ancient numbers are completely different uh, and they are uh, uh, taught uh, us to order of significations uh, the channels. Uh, it is necessary to project uh, the data in the direction of all the ancient vectors. Uh, which uh, in turn uh, lead to the main components. Uh, so, uh, next stage, uh, we uh, uh, need to check the components to find the reduction as well as the uh, uh, extent to which data compression has been uh, achieved. Uh, so, next is uh, necessary, we build the parallel operations. Uh, in rebuilt, rebuilt uh, components, and uh, we can see uh, the obtained uh, channels uh, with uh, which more uh, informative and which more significant for us. So, uh, all of this we did for, uh, uh, because we want to lose less information uh, on the uh, channel uh, which will be so transformed. Uh, next, please. And the uh, next uh, step uh, that we necessary to return the original image shape to the one dimensional components and normalize the uh, main components uh, from 0 to 255. Uh, so we have uh, obtained plans. And as we said on the last slide, the duration was the biggest uh, on the first obtained plan. So we will uh, build uh, the gradient uh, on this uh, image. No, all of the sort of transformation of the presentation, no matter. Uh, just the gradient to build content on it. Uh, so uh, the last uh, step, uh, <laughs> the hardest is behind, but uh, we need to build the content on this gradient. Um, uh, when we took the one plan, one channel of image, and build gradient on it, uh, we can uh, uh, present it like a matrix of weight, where more bright pixels are more uh, uh, easier, <laughs> and more dark pixels are more uh, weight. 
So uh, we can uh, build the optimal pass on it uh, using a data algorithm. Uh, yeah, because uh, the gradient uh, is the brightness, the uh, source will be uh, on a cruncher, so uh, we can build the shortest pass using the data algorithm. Next phase. Uh, uh, oh, I said that this is a direct um, presentation, I'm very sorry, uh, but uh, when we uh, have uh, the weight of matrix, uh, uh, the matrix of weight, uh, we can uh, associate uh, use the station algorithm to uh, build the optimal pass, and uh, this is the general uh, scheme of the algorithm. So first of all, we have a hyperspectral image that we need to separate to different channels uh, and components. Uh, then we need to synthesize the components uh, in uh, one mass, and then we need to use uh, PCA to uh, to uh, have and obtain a uh, plan uh, on which we uh, lose less information and it will be more efficient <laughs> for us. And uh, then on new image plans, we choose the plan with uh, the bigger preparation and uh, determine the grading of the, this uh, component. Uh, after all, we build an optional pass by, based on the texture algorithm. So uh, the, the, we uh, see the contour of the objects uh, that we can draw on uh, our original images. And uh, the last step is our line uh, of uh, the contour on the hyperspectral images. Uh, in uh, conclusion, we can say that uh, the last slide. Next. Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm very sorry, it's draft for the presentation of the station. But uh, uh, in conclusion, we can say that. Uh, this is uh, algorithm can help us to build semi-automatic culture on uh, hyperspectral images uh, that can uh, help us to detect uh, objects on uh, Earth um, with, on the satellite images. Any questions, please? Okay, please. What means semi-automatic culture? Uh, it means that uh, we not, uh, it's not full okay. automatic. We need to have a point of start, uh, the shortest of small parts that do a stage algorithm, and then finish. So we uh, put uh, two uh, points on uh, our image, and then uh, with this uh, algorithm, it will be uh, ready. This is an automatic algorithm to do that for no, uh, our algorithm is full automatic because we don't need to participate in this algorithm. We need only uh, get start and finish of our counter uh, objects. So uh, object detection will be full automatic because, uh, as I said, we need to point uh, start and finish and then uh, show the parts to be the counter of objects on the object. Yes. Yeah. How can we see the automatic? I do. Uh, uh, yes, and I said that uh, the culture is uh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, a culture. Yes, a culture. Just one shot. What is the object in your study? Uh, objects uh, that we study is uh, the any uh, action direction. Okay, we see. Not very well. Uh, but the object in the study is the most realistic, the most realistic, the most realistic, the most 
озеро, дома и прочее. Ну, не важно, какие фигуры, просто фигуры на именно фигуры. Просто фигуры, это фигуры. А объекты это объекты интереса. Вот здесь вот объекты. Например, как чисто как пример объекта это площадь Здесь, например, можно видеть вот это. Ну, так что есть такие вооружения, например, то есть то, что взять такие горы, и опять же, как мы потом построим свою газету на этапе нашего алгоритма, то этот объект тоже можно будет выделить именно по оптимальному пути. Честно говоря, вот не для этих. Ну, для подобных, ладно. Для подобных, да. Что пример не показал на деревне, которого все это самое? Пусть это черновое. Почему черновое? Это черновая презентация. А это дырство. Ну, он просто для президента. So, thank you for your presentation. Next presentation, shout out to the nation, thanks to the nation, for the variety of music. Let's start. Okay. Yes? Yes. Uh-huh. Not a problem. Uh, well, uh, good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, today I'm uh, going to present uh, the results of uh, uh, my colleagues uh, and my uh, study. Uh, shadow detection and segmentation satellite uh, images uh, A uh, survey. Uh, well, next, please. Uh, well, uh, to begin this uh, uh, report, uh, uh, we, we must uh, at first uh, uh, examine. Uh, the impact of uh, shadows on uh, our images. On this slide, uh, some uh, crosses and uh, cuts, uh, which uh, shadows uh, on image uh, uh, process uh, are shown. Uh, well, uh, Uh, oftenly, we want to uh, detect shadows and remove them so we can uh, mitigate some of the drawbacks they uh, bring uh, on our image. So, in our study, we uh, consider images like both uh, uh, Umbra and Penumbra areas. We uh, didn't uh, make any differences uh, between them in our studies, uh, well, and there is uh, an image uh, for better understanding of uh, uh, a process of uh, uh, shadow uh, uh, genesis. Well, uh, on the next slides, uh, uh, considered uh, uh, methods and algorithms uh, uh, or maybe better say uh, their categories uh, are uh, represented. Uh, for example, image difference and uh, threshold processing is a pretty straightforward uh, technique. Uh, like, uh, uh, for example, image difference uh, works how? Uh, first, we have uh, a uh, uh, Image uh, 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 if, uh, before uh, some shadow uh, uh, comes in and after, uh, and then we just uh, uh, calculate uh, image difference and uh, that's it. Uh, uh, on this image. Uh, 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 yeah. 
in which the initial image, the mask, and the result are shown. Well, uh, some processing concepts of uh, such uh, techniques are shown uh, on the slides. Uh, uh, well, next, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, here I uh, presented uh, uh, some uh, points on the uh, uh, threshold uh, uh, technique. Uh, uh, well, the major point here is we must convert our image to uh, another uh, uh, color space, like not RGB, but uh, instead we have, for example, XYZ or LED color space, which one of the uh, components uh, represents uh, uh, luminance or its element, let's say. Uh, next, please. Uh, edge based segmentation. Uh, here we have uh, uh, present uh, representing of shadow and leaf areas as uh, some kind of uh, uh, region for our images. Uh, the, point is uh, to uh, detect their edges. <laughs> it's uh, universal, uh, it's a new universal algorithm uh, which still uh, uh, possess some uh, counts, like, uh, like lack of uh, uh, semantics of uh, resultant uh, regions. Well, uh, next one. Uh, clustering algorithms, uh, well, basically, uh, my colleagues and I examined uh, like just a couple of algorithms here. Uh, for example, a well known uh, K means algorithms. Uh, yeah, all right. uh, the same thing goes with graph based segmentations. Basically, uh, graph based segmentation uh, uh, does what? Uh, at first, we must build a graph representation of an image which uh, possesses uh, itself uh, a challenging uh, task. And then we uh, do posterization of uh, a resultant uh, uh, graph. Well, uh, the process is uh, pretty straightforward, uh, uh, like uh, as a uh, uh, other graph algorithms, but it's uh, sensitive to uh, uh, predefined uh, criteria and yet again uh, lack of the semantics. And next please. Uh, growing regions, uh, well, uh, 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 the, an example of uh, uh, work of this uh, algorithm is presented on this. Image, as we can see here, it uh, uh, results with uh, well ordered regions, but then we must uh, uh, decide which of them are shadow and which of them are lit uh, areas. Uh, active code contour models. Well, uh, here we have, uh, well, something like uh, uh, the previous uh, report uh, uh, consists of uh, like uh, uh, semi-automatic, uh, uh, semi-automatically defined contours. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, spectral and hyperspectral analysis uh, uh, relies uh, on. Uh, uh, sensors, uh, there are uh, multiple uh, types of them. We uh, investigated like camera, radar, lidars, uh, temperature sensors, and uh, etc. etc. Uh, the major uh, uh, advantage of uh, hyperspectral analysis is we can retrieve both the visual and non visual uh, information from an image. But of course, uh, it uh, uh, a challenging uh, task uh, drops in. Like we must somehow uh, process all this information with uh, some kind of uh, non-trivial uh, methods. Uh, well, the next slide, please. Uh, machine learning algorithms—they uh, are well known for their. Uh, uh, 
universal uh, nature. Uh, there are uh, like a broad uh, variety of kinds of machine learning algorithms. For example, on this slide, uh, so-called uh, generative adversarial networks are presented. Their schemes, which is uh, uh, widely used for a uh, data uh, reprocessing and uh, even their uh, generating. So we can uh, train our uh, neural networks on. Uh, well, uh, processing concepts here are uh, obvious, like uh, the universal uh, uh, gives high accuracy uh, when we uh, use them uh, correctly. But of course, there are high requirements uh, for uh, the data use and training hardware. Next, please. And uh, last but not least, 3D modeling. Uh, we can we can just model our scene, the uh, lighting, and uh, receive uh, shadows. And uh, of course, uh, uh, we can present them as uh, uh, some kind of uh, models. Well, process and cons are uh, slightly uh, the same like uh, with the machine learning algorithm. And the result, the result, the result of the table here presents process and concepts overall for uh, such uh, uh, categories. Uh, in our study, my colleagues and uh, my colleagues and I uh, uh, highlighted uh, five points on which we can compare these algorithms. Uh, classes uh, stand for uh, uh, that, for example, accuracy is good for given algorithms, complexity is uh, appropriate, minus is, is uh, well, uh, on the contrary, uh, we have drawbacks in such a, uh, in such a uh, uh, criteria, and uh, uh, blank field is, uh, uh, stands for uh, an average accuracy complexity, etc. Well, and uh, that's it for my report. Thank you. Any questions? Okay. It's impossible to say generally what are they going to do. Well, I think it's not uh, because uh, actually in practice uh, uh, when we uh, talk about uh, image processing. Uh, on the whole, uh, shadow detection, removing, etc. Uh, researchers actually use. Uh Just a minute, okay? okay. It's just a good idea. <laughs> but you can speak <laughs> about your it's problems. Okay. It's my presentation about the person who's estimation used is in my and screen test over. Uh, the presentation is divided into four parts. The uh, first one, I want to show you some pictures about background. 
Mm-hmm. Human wants to estimate a lot of the key uh, tasks in visualization, uh, and the purpose is to identify differences between events in multimedia data and to local uh, predict a uh, predefined set of human key points for each person. Uh, and it is widely used in uh, uh, a lot of applications, including behavior, action, vision, uh, multi capture, human, human computer interaction, and so on. Uh, here, I want to show you two different uh, methods. Uh, this, uh, there are two mes- there are two different methods, which is the uh, coordination regression based and the heat map based detection method. Uh, here is a picture. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, the method based on uh, coordination region uh, predicts the coordination of key points of human body image. However, the, this method, uh, because human host estimation is non real task, so uh, this method uh, of roughly limited limitation and has a poor generalization ability. Uh, for heat map based method, uh, this method. Uh, uh, predict the approximately location of key points using an improved uh, deep learning network to generate accurate uh, heat map. Uh, and uh, the location of key points is represented uh, by a two dimensional Gaussian mm-hmm. distribution concerned of a key point location. Uh, so, this Method uh, has better closeness, uh, but of uh, course uh, it depends on heat map resolution. So the calculation amount is large, and uh, uh, need uh, and the detection speed is low. The next I will show you what is is MICC and string transformer. Uh, SIMCC is a key point automation task as a two classification subtasks of the higher loss of access and the virtual access. Um, Uh, it, uh, it divides the hierarchical and uh, virtual access into equal rights number space and uh, uh, and uh, this criticizes continuous coordinations into interbeing labs. And uh, if we use these labs, then we will predict the things where the key points are located. Uh, here I draw a picture that compares the heat map based method and its MICC. So we can clearly see that uh, the MICC's architecture is more uh, simple and uh, post the less. And the next, I will show you the screen transformer. This is the architecture of the screen transformer, and uh, the its network contains four stages, and uh, each stage consists of hash mounting and several screen transformer blocks. 
each stage we are reduce the resolution of the enclosed features map and expand the expand the receptive bound the law layer by layer like CNN. Uh, Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, the string transformer, uh, I think, which is the best is the string transformer with the uh, shifted window based uh, self tension. Um, um, and uh, it uh, incorporates the concept of a uh, uh, shifted window. We are over mapping patches shift uh, their collisions during the subsequent interactions. Uh, this shifting operation enables the model to gain insights from uh, different uh, image regions uh, over multi interactions. Enhance its, its ability to capture fine and the details and improve the performance of version tasks. Uh, the next I will show our model. Uh, our model, uh, we, we are other uh, extreme. The first uh, is pre-trained. Uh, we use uh, because uh, this is a big, uh, a really large model. So, uh, in order to get a more good uh, result, we use pre-training. Uh, the the pre-training used a big map-based approach, uh, and it can improve model accuracy. Uh, the next, uh, I will use uh, optimization strategy. We use uh, APAM optimizers as uh, as optimizers, and this optimizers uh, does not change with the scaling of uh, um, gradient size. And it uh, performs well. The next, uh, we use the self tension model. We add uh, the get attention unit uh, uh, into the original self attention model. There are some details and patients in this one. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, the rated attention unit uses rated linear unit. It can improve the fit fit forward network in the transformer layer. The attention mechanics transform is here. Uh, this is our uh, next. I will show. I will use the string transformer as a background. So the self attention in the block obtains a hyper central <laughs> image by calculating the score of the visual map matrix information. Presentation one hand, one back, and the visual map matrix information presentation. Presenting over other band the relation between Here is our whole models. We also use a, a full fill, a full fork. We, we add, we add, we add a fully mapping layer. And uh, get attention and a uh, volution layer between uh, SMI, CC, and uh, background. Background. 
that that book, sorry, uh, our experiments. Uh, we use the data set, the total data set, and the evaluation metrics is uh, object object one similarity and uh, um, mean average precision. And uh, there are some details of settings. Uh, the model we used is the Swinson's Moore Tiny because we have a limited uh, on the computation energy. So uh, we just used the, the tiny model. Uh, here is my our result. So we can we can say uh, we use our uh, we use our model okay. mm -hmm. to another models. It can say that uh, the the in our model has increased by uh, one point two one one. And uh, the AR has increased uh, 1.18. And uh, if you say uh, our model is tiny, because we transform are tiny, and it's an ICC compared to uh, the, the, the spin transformer tiny, we uh, use other methods like heat map. We can say we can. We have a better, better result. Yes, and this is. Okay, any questions? No one. Okay, thank you for your presentation. Today there are uh, some uh, uh, there are many uh, different uh, frameworks for post detection and recognition, and today uh, there are uh, two basic points. Uh, the first it is uh, how many uh, key points we can detect. The second it is a pair. Uh, uh, the basic uh, task uh, connected for um, properties of human legs because uh, human legs have a human animal and we can use it for detection. Uh, in the Institute of uh, Orthopedics uh, and uh, Dermatology, there are special devices that. Uh, uh, that uh, registrate video from uh, four points, one, two, three, four. Uh, from every point, we can construct a skeleton of human and motion. 
After it, we uh, use uh, such hem for step segmentation. We try to uh, uh, registrate uh, the few uh, points in our pipeline. The first step, the second step, the food, and uh, how we move, how we turn motion, and uh, at the same time, we uh, control uh, uh, time on Then, every uh, even is present. Uh, uh, today, there are many ways for post detection, and you can use if you uh, frame box when we try. Uh, but what's interesting is that, uh, but now we use your voice, and of course, uh, because your weight, of course, uh, uh, it is a new neural network that uh, connects for detection on the uh, algorithm, and uh, it's locally first. But uh, uh, today, uh, the best it is open post, voice post, and your bottom and uh, media pay. Uh, uh, both uh, points we illustrate. Uh, we illustrate uh, these points, it is uh, ankle, knee, and hip, and try to uh, uh, construct such a uh, uh, table. When we uh, use Key uh, points and uh, uh, features of points. Using of it, we uh, used uh, automatic uh, data algorithm for registration and contract uh, some different uh, uh, images. You can see the real patient is a uh, uh, skeleton, uh, and every skeleton constructed for different reports. For example, the uh, first skeleton it is open post for example, the second uh, medial uh, pipe, and the last it is your seven, but today the run based on the uh, uh, And uh, after it, we try uh, to distinguish uh, function, function how angle changed, angle between the points. Uh, as a result, uh, we uh, uh, develop uh, some pipelines, and uh, when uh, we distinct different angles for uh, motion of the shed, for um, between every key points in our skeleton. Using of it, uh, we uh, can uh, develop methods of uh, diagnostic, diagnostics of uh, pathology in RTPT, and uh, oh, maybe I miss this result because, because it is a, a result for uh, our analysis by angle. And using of it, we have uh, such interesting methods. But in, in the future, we plan to use it for more mobile device, for our telephone, for Illustrated of the patient and the stand diagnostic, but today we have a few troubles because uh, maybe in last weeks I uh, checked a uh, uh, on the box in uh, young, young person in my mobile phone, phone it's, we have a piece about 7 FPS, it's long because motion uh, going and uh, giving, uh, give some troubles to me. The other other troubles is the skeleton reconstruction because if you look for every picture, you can see that every framework has different key uh, points. For example, the, the best result is open force. But uh, for such framework, we have a very bad FPS. It's about maybe one or two uh, FPS for uh, processing. And uh, 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 media pipe it was uh, something middle, but uh, for media pipes we have uh, any errors for legs because sometimes the legs have a different shape. And uh, but uh, in this case we listed only two points, 
as a result uh, for us, uh, that we have some problems with uh, definition of plus or plus or not. Uh, of course, here on A, it's if uh, best result for speed, and uh, sometimes I can talk about real time because it is about 10 FPS, but uh, unfortunately, you can see that uh, 40 steps on here. For, uh, as a result, uh, what I'd like to see, see is that this is uh, initial, let's say. We started and we have 100 now, but uh, I hope that if we find find that we can, can continue uh, this project uh, for food definition and uh, uh, develop real uh, pipeline for real business. Thank you for your attention. Uh, question, please. Okay. Any questions? No. Is clear. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> and the last presentation. Five minutes, yes. Last uh, will be done by Ivan Rivola. Five and four objects. Martin using this plan. From our log, a very fancy presentation. Uh, okay. No, it's okay. So, five minutes and uh, I'm starting to the some sensible information that you need to protect, therefore you need to remove it. What would you do? So, I, I, I'm Leon from Belarusian State University and I'd like to talk to you about usage of imaging painting to do object removal from images. Uh, so my talk will be in three parts. In the first part I'm going to define the problem and discuss modern deep learning architecture that can be used to solve it. In the second part, I'll uh, talk about state-of-the-art models and how we can combine them to solve our problem. And last but not least, we'll discuss the results and show and look at the data. Uh, so what is in painting? In painting is a process of reconstruction of lost parts of images. As can be seen in this example, there is a deteriorated part on top of the image. We can use mask to select it and after painting the algorithm the algorithm will paint in the gaps. Uh, so why do we even care about in painting? Uh, in painting can solve a lot of problems and, and have a lot of applications in the real world, such as restoring old photos and videos, automatic scene editing, for instance, object removal, and compression of images. As you can see, and, uh, in this example, we can reconstruct the image just from 5% of pixels present, a pretty good result. Uh, so there are a lot of non-deep learning methods that can be used to solve this problem. One of the most popular of them is Edge Mesh. However, they struggle with invading on complex scenarios. As can be seen in this example, they successfully managed to invade the background. However, when invading the complex object, it failed and created some artifacts. So, what do we need to train a deep learning model to do it with? First of all, we need training data. Luckily, we can have any collection of images as training data since we are working with images. So, it can be ImageNet, Places, Celebrity Dataset, whatever. Also, since we are learning to reconstruct the missing information, we need some masks to hide the um, data. So, we can use either random masks or task oriented masks. What are task-oriented masks? There are some smart masks that 
focus on some specific regions. For instance, we can use segmentation to segment eyes and use maps on the cover eyes on faces. Secondly, we need a model architecture. The most commonly used is a unit like architecture that follows and follows the corridor plan. So, also, since we are working with uh, maths, the usage of um, partial convolutions is necessary to improve our performance. So, in terms of loss functions, there are a few terms that are necessary. First of all, we have an um, invented and other regions per pixel L1 loss. Uh, it is our baseline. Then we use perceptual loss as well as style loss to improve our uh, the quality of our brain. And last but not least, we use total variance loss to ensure our brain is smooth. Here we can see the example of total loss function from the uh, recent NVIDIA paper. Uh, so, there are others on the there are alternative architectures, and they can uh, include additional losses, such as image dependent marker branch field loss or, and or adversarial loss. The example of a uh, network that uses both of them, as well as the previous one, is, can be seen here. So, moving on, this brings me to my next uh, point, which is using usage of GANs to do image painting. So, GANs have proven to be to show really good results in terms of image duration. So, it's reasonable to use them to do image painting. So, uh, any image painting method should have a balance between global painting, uh, preserving global content, and um, local details. So we can use a single notification of the classical GAN uh, architecture by, by providing by, by having two discriminators. A global discriminator will look at the entire region, an uh, entire image, and classify it as fake or real. Whereas local discriminator will look at some area around the indicated region and also classify it as fake or real, and then we can just make the final decision. But since the training procedure, the training of GATS is not to be uh, difficult because it's in the unstable and the classical GAN losses lead to mode collapse and so on. Next slide, please. Uh, we can use uh, buffer style uh, loss to prove this. Thank you. So we can use buffer style loss to improve more stability and get rid of the vanishing gradient from also, we can use improved uh, gendering techniques such as gradient penalty to make our training more stable. Okay. Now we came to the second part of my talk, which is state of the art models. First of all, let me introduce two state of the art models. Uh, the first is segment analysis model. It is a model from Meta AI that can, that can create segmentations, masks for any object and any image. Uh, secondly, the LAMA model stand, uh, is, can handle in painting for us. LAMA stands for large mask in painting. So the idea is simple. We can use a uh, SAM model to generate segmentation mask of the target region uh, and then use uh, this mask and the original image pass it to LAMA model to do the in painting. The good thing about SAM model is the following, that it can be easily fine-tuned to better suit your business problem, as well as generate small on segmentation masks. Also, there is a mobile SAM, which is a light version, uh, light -light version of the SAM model, which makes it suitable for mobile applications. Uh, next slide. So finally, the results. So here are the results from UNED like architecture in Painter. And we can analyze how different uh, loss terms affect the final image. So we can see the uh, mask, and the, on the first row it is no style. And as you can see, the painting is kind of blurry. So, and when there is total, total loss, it's not blurry at all, which is good. If we use a small um, uh, style loss, uh, then there are some artifacts on the left of the field of the image. Well, and on the right, and when we use total loss, there are less artifacts. And in terms of procedural loss, we can see that waterfall looks way more realistic when we have it, 
Whereas when no perpetual loss was used. Next slide. Here we can see the examples of Gatling paintings using two discriminators. We can compare it to patch match algorithm. As you can see in the second column, uh, the patch match algorithm used the wall texture to invade the window, whereas uh, the GAN approach invaded the window, but there are still some artifacts of its not perfect. Next, please. So, and this is an example of GAN, uh, WGAN in painting using a uh, celebrity data set. So, in this training, three types of masks are used. The large center uh, square, the multiple squares all over the image, and noise. Nice. And can we see? Okay. We can see that uh, uh, restoring from uh, that this model. Never mind. So, as we can see, the restoring from uh, noise is really successful. We can see it is really good. In terms of uh, uh, square masks, we can see that repainting is also successful, but some features obviously change. Moving on to the last example, it is the uh, next slide. Uh, the paint entity model, which is a combination of Sam and Bala. So we can see the uh, original image of Dog, then the mask that were uh, generated using the SAM model, and then the resulting painting on the bottom. And in my opinion, it is really good at results, especially on the second column, since it used the parking lot to cover the uh, secret building. So, yes, and moving on to the conclusion. Uh, next slide, please. Thank you. So, image painting can be used to protect sensitive data since it allows you to easily repaint uh, some region of the image. It can be solved using deep learning techniques, and the combination of state of the art models allows to shorten the way from initial results to production of the product. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Yes. So it is not a question. Yes, the question. Yes. 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 So we can use uh mean first error. Uh metric is a uh, like straightforward solution, but there are also a metrics called like FID, the metric, which is for sure inception decent, that is also 